region where you see the gray pipe coming out, which is cut to about just under a meter, that's uh, the way it would be attached to the arm before it's extended. Then we're going to extend the arm and what's going to happen is as we push down on the pipe coming up from the top, it's going to push out that one meter of very rigid pipe out to the end. So pushing on the pipe will force the solid rod through the extension of the, uh, the boom. And of course there'll be more guides to guide it properly. With the end result being we can push the solid pipe out past the end. Now by choosing the right pipe, we probably have less bowing of the pipe. But you can see at the end, there's, there's a, maybe about an 8 pound uh, weight. And it's uh, slightly bowing the, uh, the pipe that was extended by being attached to the flexible pipe. Okay, and this can be pushed out further or else drawn back in. So it has complete uh, movement back and forth. And we're using the uh, noose at the end to uh, grab onto whatever we have to grab onto. And as far as uh, using it to uh, pull things together, we just pull on the, uh, the pipe and it should draw whatever's attached backwards through by pulling on the cable at the end there. Okay. Imagine that this pipe, the black one coming out of this tube, is the video probe. So of course the video probe would begin to droop as soon as it comes out of the pole. So the idea of being able to push this rigid plastic pole out the full meter actually extends the boom to four meters, uh, allowing the video probe to actually go out. Once the video probe, of course, goes out, uh, it will droop, but it will add another uh, probably a third of a meter. Now, if we use the sky tube throughout the whole tube, the guide tube will further extend the reach of the video probe because the video probe will go through that guide tube, come out the end and then start to droop. And this will give us uh, roughly uh, almost two meters uh, potential to, to go out the end. Okay, as long as this all retracts back to uh, the pole to uh, retrieve it uh, up through the shaft and back out to the top.